Welcome to Make It. My name is Paul. And I'm Brooke. And each week we bring some great designers, artists, illustrators straight to you. It's going to be super fun. And this week we are so excited to welcome Keith Dean Dixon, a designer, maker, illustrator, and experiential designer. I'm not sure what that is. Should we find out? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Kitra, we are super excited to have you on today. I am super excited to be here. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to tell us a little bit about yourself. I know what you would call yourself, like a graphic designer, like illustrator, like, I've heard the word experiential. Designer, uh, yeah. No, you did it exactly the way I do it, typically. Uh, question mark? We, a big question <laughs> mark. I'm sure about the design part. Yeah, I, my past comes from graphic design, yeah. um, but uh, oftentimes I'll say I do a little bit of lettering, object design, and experiential design. So you're kind of just making stuff. I'm making stuff. As long as I'm making stuff, I'm happy. Are you using Illustrator? I take it. Is that I the idea? I use a lot of Illustrator. Okay. Yeah. What do you What do you use the most in Illustrator? Uh, I don't. I want to know how. I've you've... been addicted to the Blend tool. Ooh, that's um, a good one. Yeah, cool. yeah, it's very good. I do a lot of partnering with Code to get mm -hmm. unexpected results from Illustrator. It's one of those things that. Yes. Uh, I like surprises. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, and the whole idea, like code, that's a scary word it for a lot of people. It can be a super people, scary so. word for a lot of designers. I now, think what, it's, yeah. it's very scary for me, too, okay. which well, is oh, part of the reason I use it. Yeah. Uh, the best thing to do when you're scared of something is to make friends with it, mm -hmm. right? That's so. awesome. I think that's a great piece of advice, actually. And I think, like, one of the things that's really resonated with me is... Um, I think I've read somewhere where you, you say your process is thinking through making and making through breaking. Yes. And I think that's so cool because it's very active, um, which I like, that you're actively working to sort of like then break these tools. And, you know, we don't like to think that you can break software, but like that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And the, break, the breaking is a very loose term. Right. I mean, that implies that there's some right way to be using things, which I think maybe there's an intention behind every tool. Say the, the paintbrush tool in Illustrator, mm -hmm. you're supposed to emulate painting with it. Um, but that's not necessarily something that you can move away from and be doing wrong. So it's, I loosely interpret do something wrong. It's more about breaking my own habits than anything else. So you've, you started out your career as graphic design and then you kind of moved into what you call experiential design and now you're teaching. M maybe tell us a little bit how you got into graphic design or what was oh. it that pulled you in? Yeah, I think, well, I think graphic design is very related to verbal communication. That's part of the reason I, I went into it. I really find language frustrating. I don't have complete <laughs> control. I speak one language and I speak it poorly. Um, and, <laughs> but I, I think in visuals. And so the convergence of language and image happens in graphic design. Absolutely. Um, and so with these pieces, um, I, it was about, it started out um, with this idea of the frustration of communicating. And so these it, this is a tiny little sample slab from an enormous piece that I think this one is from one that was 150 pounds. Oh my but gosh. But I've done uh, 250 pound pieces. Um, but we start out with words first, a message of some sort. And then we create positive type forms. And then we start hand layering hot wax onto those pieces of type layer after layer after layer. Um, and then when it gets to be a certain size, so they're actually upside down like this. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can imagine a Just big massive. kind of like mound of melty yeah. snow uh -huh. looking piece of wax, flip it over, slice it down, pull positive type out, and then mm -hmm. you're left with these layers. So this one is uh, very much about exploring medium in the same way that I'd explore it, digital and physical, mm -hmm. and jumping between those mediums. And then there's a whole nother group of works that are just about proposing, um, I call them half conversations, with uh, an audience, participatory mm -hmm. works. Yeah. Um, and so these, these guys. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh. I call there. It's not an easy thing to say. I call them the double balloons. Double balloons. Double, balloons. double balloons. Yes, smushed together. Oh, you guys see what's happening I mean, here. I yeah. know. This you know. Insane. So there's two inputs there, and the, these are part of a series of objects that I've done called the objects of codependency. Oh okay. man. Um, and these are usable. 
What? So we'd use them? I think you are want we, to do you it. Should are we do doing things it? For right. <laughs> we will do it for you as yeah. our guest. Okay. All right. Oh, this is going to be. I'm so grossed out. This yeah. is going to be. This is. Do we do it? This okay. is a little. This icons. is when we all get to watch. Okay, let's notice the eye contact. Are they battling? Yeah. Oh, and you can't see each other anymore, so it's all about you focusing, but you're still battling. Okay. <laughs> All right, you uh, win. There, yeah, and now you're <laughs> it holding wasn't it. wasn't quite as gross. So, as now, I now, what do we do? Are we allowed to tie it, or do you, we? You are allowed to do whatever. There's no rules in the double loop. Oh I was, God. I was worried that we were going to pop it, <laughs> but I couldn't see. In this instance, um, I, I wanted uh, the, imagining using it uh, when you look at the object. You understand that you both have to assumably mm -hmm. put mutual effort into the thing, mm -hmm. um, but then the more you actually focus on the metaphor of the relationship in the middle and the bigger it gets, the less you can actually see your partner. Mm -hmm. So the more it obscures the kind wow. of connection. I like how you think about this. As a graphic designer, you're like, you're a, you're a communicator, essentially. Mm -hmm. And you're taking this to another level to get a whole point across. Yeah. Love to keep you here all day and talk about this stuff. Actually, you know, we, but you're not we getting... Yeah, we're one, not getting off One last off thing. Hook. I mean, this was awkward enough. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but we want you to your participate. Turn. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair. <laughs> so okay. yeah, we basically have, since you're using the blend tool and Illustrator, we want to have you meet a very old version of Illustrator, Illustrator 88. Which is actually when the blend tool came out. Cool. Can you believe that? Which is that's pretty like awesome. awesome. I have not played weird. with it for year, of course, probably never. I have never touched but, yeah. Illustrator 88. Oh, this is yeah. going to be Let's, fun. We're going to yeah, dive into excited. that, shall yeah. we? Let's this do good. this. Cool. All right, fantastic. This is really exciting. Obviously, Illustrator 88 open, what? This is 30. This is pretty awesome. We just had our 30th <laughs> anniversary. It's, okay, uh, so the goal is to... I mean, just blend. 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 Um, okay, awesome. so I'm going to start by drawing something. Okay. Mm. Two so shapes. And this is the blend tool? Question mark? Yeah, because it looks yeah. like yeah. the gradient. It looks a little... And no, okay. I think select you okay, have both of them. Yeah. Select, select every single select all. one. Yeah. Okay, select all. Click the blend tool. Uh, that's kind of awesome. The quick point? command or the key commands work. Yeah, that's yeah. It, which is taking that for granted. Yeah. I can play that music by heart. That's comforting because everything else is definitely. Ooh, there we go. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Uh, uh, should steps? I just? No, Frank I want a lot of steps. Yeah, like yeah, I just yeah. more. Okay, fifty. Yeah. yeah. That's All so right. Odd. So the percentage the, thing. I have, I have no, no idea, idea what the very last percentage. So it's doing. Um, Calculating, yeah. calculating. Oh, it's and better than the imagine, beach ball. Yeah, I, yes. I like the watch. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Oh, oh this is, I like. like that I know. One. Cool. I like yeah. both of these. Approved. Yeah. This is. I, I can see the uh, origins of yeah. what we now understand. This is awesome. And the here. potential. So, so I'm curious. Can we? We have your computer here. Can Can you? Show us yeah, I'm far more confident magic. in using the mental, uh, in the oh, your comfort space. Machine. Yeah, exactly. Do you feel better already? Uh, feel yes. Really good. Oh, this space, okay. I totally recognize it. Okay, the way I do the blend tool usually um, is to pull down in the menu, select both mm -hmm. objects, and then mm -hmm. make. Um, Ta da! Yay! Yay. Beautiful okay. gradient. So you see all the steps, steps going on. I go object. Expand, mm -hmm. um, expand and that expands everything. All the shapes. Expands all the shapes, um, and then I want to go ahead and ungroup everything because the next step I'm going to do gets a little upset if are things we, are grouped. Are or, we going to see scripts? Yeah. Um, so I make sure there's no compound paths and it's ungrouped. Yes. And now we're going to try a script. I'm super okay. Sure. Ready? I'll do it. File. Hold down to scripts. Um, other scripts, so it's lovely that Illustrator is actually set up to pull in scripts, yeah. Um, and yeah, I these would, are all pre -written. These are pre-written, okay. and um, I call these my magic button. Like, nice. when I want something to look pretty, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, open. Yay. Oh, yeah, that is so beautiful. Now that is all really pretty. Steps get. So what was that script called? It was a, just a colorization? I, it's a, it's a JavaScript color. that's mm. written to randomize every color. Um, and it's a couple of sets uh, that I can key in the exact numbers for either a CMYK or an RGB. And that little piece of script is repeated about 10 times in that full script. 
So there's 10 colors okay. that it's selecting from. Did that make sense? Yeah, yes. it totally yeah, does. Awesome. And, you know, we can see this tie in with your work as well. Yeah. So this yeah, is totally. like the beginning. You know all my tricks. That, that's like Yeah, you totally like outed yourself. <laughs> I know. Saw, well, yeah. You better watch out. You got yeah. copycat. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Pass what, it on. We're filming this. Everybody's going to be watching. It's to see what so. can be done better, right? <laughs> Building off the shoulders yeah. of those who came yeah. before us. Thank you so much, Keitra. Yeah. It's been awesome having you on the show. It's been very fun. Thank you for having me. No, it's so <laughs> cool seeing you like your pro tips and thank you so much for sharing what's on your screen and what's in your head and also the physical objects that you brought. Super fun. Join us actually every week. Every we'll week. Here. So tune in. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.